Howdy, folks. Wow, my chair is creaky. <laughs> That's weird. Uh. Okay. How is the sound, everyone? How is the sound before anything? And why is... There we go. That's back. That's fine. How am I today? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. I've finished my... Uh, Film Chums podcast on the VeggieTales movies today. So that's done. That's out of the way. And I can move on to other, th other things now. So that's put me in a good mood. <laughs> da, 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 da. Sound is good. Sound is good. Awesome. Uh, Cameron, I like your Rick and Morty shirt. Thank you. I have a couple because people keep, keep giving me them. <laughs> uh, Cameron, what was your favorite movie as a child? Um, It kind of depends what age, because it kind of bounced around a bit, but I remember for a while it was Big Fish and it was also Digimon the movie I think, during my college years it was Pompoko <sighs> that's all I can remember though <laughs> I'm an old man, <laughs> I can't remember what everything, all my favourite uh, my, my number one favourite films as a kid um, hello Billy Mout uh, Mr. Prowley, how do you feel about Ice Age 2 and 3? Um, still don't know, if I'm honest. Like, I don't love them, and I don't hate them, and I just don't, I don't know. I'm hoping to do videos on them one day, but for now, I'm kind of like, eh, about them. I just don't, I don't know where I stand on them. Uh, Cameron, I need to re-watch Big Fish. Anything with, uh, oh, watch. I need to watch Big Fish, anything with you McGregor I want to watch. I'm not sure how well it holds up, but when I was a teenager, I had like a Tim Burton phase, and Big Fish was my favourite for a while. Edward Scissorhands. I'd say Edward Scissorhands was probably the first time I was like, you know, this is this is my favourite film, and I want to become a filmmaker. So yeah, I'd probably, probably say it's that. And when I say I was a Tim Burton fan, I was a huge Tim Burton fan. I had like a whole shrine and everything. Um, it's probably, it's cr the Cradle movie in the UK. Yes, it's available, I think it's in cinemas, I'm not sure, but it is available on Disney Plus right now, but I have zero interest in seeing it, if I'm honest. Um, Computer Guy, went to the movies for the first time in over a year, the 24th Detective, Detective Conan movie was projected in cinemas near me, and I just couldn't miss that. There's 24 Detective Conan movies now. See, I need to, I need to start watching Detective Conan, I really do. It sounds like my jam. It really does. Uh, Billy, I love your review of Ardman's I Didn't Short Film, but have you seen the series that spun off the short Rex the Runt? I had no idea Rex was a spin-off, and I've I've met the director of I Didn't, and he never told me that. Um, but I have seen Rex the Runt. It's very funny, very good. I talk about it in my video about 90s British cartoons. Miss Burley, Scooby's been played in my local cinema theatre, just to tell you. I'm not real. I've decided I'm not going to go to the cinemas until I've been fully vaccinated. I'm kind of staying out till I'm fully vaccinated. Don't feel comfortable being in a cinema right now. Uh, Koopa Dude, have you watched any of the Star Trek shows? Yes, I've brought this up before on stream, but like I was into the next. I used to watch the Next Generation in like er early hours of the morning when I was a kid. I'd, I'd catch it in the early hours. Um. Or the original series, but that's it. That's it. I, I just casually watch it now and again. I mainly watch the films. Uh, I would not say like I'm a massive Star Trek fan or anything. Uh, Cameron, in my opinion, Scoob was there. Um, I didn't hate it, but at the same time, I don't love it. Bill Mout, do you know that Detective Conan was called Case Closed in the US? I do, yes. Miss Proley, how do you feel about the actor Nathan Fillon? Nathan Fillon? Uh, let me have a reminder of what he's been in. It sounds, his name sounds familiar, but at the same time, I don't know. For some reason, my browser's being very slow. I, okay, I'm, I'm not going to rely on the browser. <laughs> uh, just let me know what Nathan's been in, and maybe it'll click. Uh, Lister Rimsey, you like cheesy films and musicals. Have you watched much Bollywood? I have, I have, and... There is a Bollywood movie that I'd love to do a video on at some point. I forgot what it's called, but it's like 
What if E.T. was a Bollywood musical? Yes, <laughs> it's great. I caught, I caught it on TV in the middle of the night one night. I was like, what is this? This is amazing. <laughs> and I remember I remember one of the songs is like a, an advert for Coke or something. <laughs> I really want to do a video on it. I really do. Uh, computer guy, what I can say is that as much as I didn't like the overuse of action scenes in recent, in recent Coda movies, it was because I never experienced that on the big screen. I totally get why they do that now. Mmm. Sometimes action has more spectacle when you see it on a cinema screen. Uh, Bill Amount, did you hated this Star Trek series, Lower Decks? Again, all I've watched is um, the original series and Next Generation. That is it. And I don't even remember the, those two shows that well either. So I'm just not a person when it comes to Star Trek lore or anything. It's just going to go over my head. <laughs> I just go, ha ha, Patrick Stewart, cool. Ha <laughs> ha. That's it. Um... Da -da -da. Uh, where, where am I in the chat? I've lost it now. Uh, oh, Miss, Miss Broly, he was in Monsters University. Who was, who did he voice in Monsters University? Uh, computer guy, Scoob definitely was something. I don't even know how to end that sentence, and I loved and hated this film. Uh, Miss Broly, the voice of Sebastian from A Little Mermaid died a few year, days ago. Yes, he did. Very, very sad. Uh, Billy Mount, have you heard of this particular Ardman series, Angry Kid? I have. Angry Kid was a big was a big thing for me growing up like um all, all the all the school kids when i was when i was a kid all the school kids were like this is so funny huh? <laughs> so like yeah i i know of angry kid angry kid's a big part of like um millennial british culture um bu -bu 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 -bu. uh evan j sims what makes ant-man and the wasp your favorite mcu movie i kind of went over this in my in the uh, film drums podcast i did with eva on the mcu but it's my favourite just because it's so weird and out there. And it has all these wholesome aspects that I really like. That's all I can really say. Um, da, 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 da. Go to fan. If you were a guest on Conan, what would you do on his show? I I don't know what you mean by do. Because doesn't he just talk to the guests? <laughs> I, I don't know what you mean. Sorry. I... Um, if it was an activity with Conan, I don't, I don't, I don't know whatever he wanted to do. I'm a friend of him. <laughs> uh, uh, N.W. Zande, uh, thoughts on how Mattel is treating Thomas and Friends? I, no comment, I'm afraid. Uh, I don't really follow the Thomas and Friends franchise. I've not watched Thomas the Tank Engine since I was a kid. Sorry. Uh, Curse Monster, do you have a favourite film composer? Not a number one favourite. Mmm... Love Vangelis. Um, who else can I think of? Hans Zimmer's great. Danny Elfman I love. Philip Horner. Uh, I'll be really basic and say John Williams as well. I love them all. There's loads that I really like. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. List Rimsey, what do you think of Solar Opposites? Rick and Morty's cousin cartoon. I've not seen it because I think it's... Wait, is it on Disney Plus now? I, I think it's been part of Disney Plus, isn't it? Because I remember originally it was it was on Hulu, and that's why I couldn't see it. Um, but I've not seen Solar Opposites, no. Go to what do you think of the 1996 Winner of the Willows movie? I've not revisited it, and I really, really want to do a video on it. I really do. Just because it's it's such a strange thing that exists. <laughs> I I would I'd like uh, I'd like um, to kind of talk about that. Um, da, 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 Bill Mount, is it true that some animated films from the US get re-dubbed with British celebrities cameos? Yes, I was talking to my thumbnail artist Leo Mitchell about this the other day, uh, and Ed Ake has done a very good video on the the entire topic. Um, it's really it's really strange, but like even as a kid, I kind of know to say that's been dubbed in. Uh, but the weirdest the weirdest one is definitely Terry Wogan. As Ronnie Copperbottom's dad in Robots, that was the one I was like, ah. <laughs> uh, then you got John Fr Jonathan Ross is the ugly stepsister in the UK version of Shrek Two. Uh, Jeremy Clarkson plays Lightning McQueen's uh, manager in the UK version of Cars. There's there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots that they, 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 they still go on to this day as well. It's really weird. Um, duh, 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 duh. 
Lucas, has your top 10 favorite movies changed over the years? It has, definitely. Uh, but I have no interest in updating it because that the thing is, if if I followed the whole philosophy of like, hey, I need to keep I need to keep ev let everyone know that that my top ten favorite films have changed again and again, it'd just be a constant series of videos. So I feel like there's no point of doing it again and again and again. Um, yeah, uh, at the moment it's still a silent voice uh, as my number one favorite film. Yeah. Evan, remind me, when do you get vaccinated? So, my first dose is on uh, this Friday, and then my second dose is in late August. Right, I'm trying to find where I'm in chat now. Uh, Cameron, I've been re-watching Family Guy on Disney+. Plus. I like the early seasons, 1 to 8. Do you have a favourite episode? I don't really have a favourite episode, I'm afraid, no. Um... Da, da, da. Weird guy, do you have a favorite album? Yes, I love uh, what's it? Demon Days by Gorillaz. I love it to bits. Absolutely love it. It's not just nostalgic feelings towards it. It's just a really solid album with like back-to-back -back great songs and like this almost narrative structure to it. I love it. I really do. Um, da, 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 da. Miss Pearly, and um, his name is actually Nathan Fillion. He voiced Johnny Free in Monsters University, Mr. Sterling in Cars Free, Hermes in the Percy Jackson sequel, Lemony Snicket's brother in the series of unfortunate events movie. I, these are kind of <laughs> over my head. I think was was Johnny Free the the like that the leader of that jock fraternity in Monsters University? Uh, Billy Matt, what do you think of the Yellow Submarine movie? I've done a video of it on my channel. That'll probably explain it better because I've not seen Yellow Submarine in a while. Uh, weird guy, have you watched Earth to Ned on Disney Plus? No, I haven't, but I've been meaning to. Uh, NW is on day. What's the point of a US dub of UK shows? Same thing with UK dubs of US shows. They're just completely unnecessary. Uh, it's very much a localization kind of thing. And it's also a promotion ta tactic as well, especially nowadays, because with a lot of with a lot of uh, animated Hollywood, film, Hollywood films that come over to the UK, um, a British YouTuber will dub over that movie, even if it's a really tiny role. So then the movie gets free promotion <laughs> because, like, the the, the YouTuber will then go on the channel saying, "Hey, I'm in this new movie. Go and check it out." So yeah, there's. Uh, there's a video by Ed Ake, video by Ed Ake that goes into way more detail about it, but like it's, it's technically unnecessary, but there is a motive behind it. There, there is a purpose. Um, bruh, 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 bruh. Uh, trying to find where I am now. Uh, Gojo fan, since I've mentioned my plan for a graphic novel series about Fox Agent, would you like me to mention some of the villains you'd find interesting? Go for it. Uh, cursed. Yeah, I remember when Dan and Phil voiced two scientists in Big Hero Six. Yes, they did. Yeah, there's there's quite there's quite a, the, again. Watch the Ed Egg video on it. <laughs> like it goes into so much detail. There's so many ones that I missed. <laughs> um, Billy Mount. Uh, have you heard about Robert Zemeckis' cancelled Yellow Submarine remake? And if it did get off the ground, would it be would it be crazier than the original film? I don't know about. Hmm, I don't know what to really expect because it's Robert Zemeckis. <laughs> His idea of like imaginative and enchanting is like, um. <laughs> so I wouldn't know what to expect, I'm afraid. I think I've seen a clip before as well, and I was like, uh. So I just, I don't like Uncanny Valley. I really, really, it really, really creeps me out. It's one of my major, one of my major fears. Uh, but then again, my br my brother has a worse uncanny valley than me because he has he has a fear of wax models, uh, and if we go to a museum, he would have to like cover his face. Um, Cameron, have you seen the Disney series Phineas and Ferb? Nope, I'm afraid not. Lister Rimsey, Jam, uh, my, my, uh, you might know Nathan better from Firefly. Not seeing that, or uh, Doctor Horrible Sing Along. Uh, I need to see Dr. Horrible sing along. I really do. It sounds like my, my cup of tea. Um, da, da, da. Evan J. Sims, you know how Karunson is continuing your top five and best and worst leg legacy? Well, so am I with the MCU. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Go ahead. People are completely welcome to do a top five best and worst if they want to. <laughs> go for it. I won't be doing it anymore, but if you want to take my format, go for it. <laughs> um, 
Miss Brilly, I meant the series of Unfortunate Events Netflix show. By the way, have you seen both the show and the movie? I grew up with a series of Unfortunate Events, the movie. Um, I remember I enjoyed it quite a lot as a kid, but I've not watched it in years. Um, da, 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 da. Cameron, have you seen the It, it Crowd? Uh, yes, I've seen the It Crowd. Uh, love Rich, uh, Rich Iodi. Love him to bits. Um... Cooper Dude, what movie do you think you rewatch the most? You know what it is. <laughs> you know what it is. Come on. Everyone knows what it is. If, if this was live, I can hear everyone. You could all just say it in unison with me. A goofy movie. I watch it, like, I don't know how many times a year. <laughs> I adore it that much. Um, da 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 Bill Mao, uh, have you seen the Three Stooges film from 2012? No, I haven't, I'm afraid. Uh, howdy, Don. Go, uh, go fans, some of my villains will consist of a Japanese snow monkey based on the cult leader Shoko Asahara. I'd be careful of that, very careful of that. Uh, when you base something on real life, you're on a very tricky ground. Um, so yeah, be, just be a bit cautious, be a bit sensitive. Um, especially with like real life murders and stuff like that. A Komodo dragon who is a voodoo wizard. Ooh, that sounds pretty cool. A wolf who is a bounty hunter. Nice. An iguana who is a drug lord. And a chimp who is a former soldier and now the head of a terrorist group. And is also a werewolf. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, Don, I have a question. Will you go and see Paw Patrol the movie? Unlikely. Unless unless lots of fans demand my opinion on it. <laughs> it's, un it's unlikely I'll go and see it. Um, yeah. Um, da, 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 da. Evan J. Sims, have you seen Big with Tom Hanks? I have, yes. Uh, NW Zonde, will you ever watch the new Percy Jackson Disney Plus series when it comes out? I'm not that connect with Percy Jackson. I'm really not. It goes over my head. It's it's one of those things that I've not, I, I never grew up with. I've never checked out. So I'm just, I'm afraid I'm just not interested. I've, I'm like, mm, whatever. <laughs> Uh, the bill him out. If you want to see a movie from the UK or uh, redubbed, watch a terrible version of Dougal. I have. It is terrible. It is awful. It's one of the worst dubs ever made. Uh, hey Nick, uh, keep you going. Definitely do watch Doctor Horrible Sing Along. I I do want to. It's campy and set with horror, and it's a musical. Ah. ah. <laughs> um. Or the American dub of Mad Max. I had no idea Amer Mad Max had an American dub. That's weird. Uh, good fan. Are you surprised there haven't been any major Christmas Carol movies since uh, Robert Zemeckis' adaptation? Um, I don't know. Because, like, I'm not sure. I kind of get why, but at the same time, maybe there's opportunities to, like, do more stuff with A Christmas Carol. Uh, maybe even more than what Zemeckis was trying to do with his technology, so... Uh, Miss Perella, how do you feel about Catherine Zeta Jones? I've not really seen much of her work, if I'm afraid. Uh, Billy Mout, have you heard of the awful series Full English? It sounds familiar. Uh, Cameron Blythe, goofy movie needs more attention. I love that movie. Yes, it does. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Billy Mout, what are your thoughts on the Sonic the Hedgehog movie? Uh, there is a podcast review of it on my channel that goes into more detail. But I, 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 in general, I liked it. I, I enjoyed it fine. It was okay. A little slow for a Sonic movie, but still, still kind of fun. Uh, and there was a lot of there was a lot of um, interesting ideas that it had. And yeah, it was just a likable, like, enjoyable movie. Definitely one of the better video game movies I've seen. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. D -d 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 where am I? Um, Cameron, started watching the Charles Play movies, and Charles Play 3 is my favourite in the series. Yes, it's very silly, especially with the army setting. Um, yeah, I think Charles Play 3 gets a bit too much... A bit too much hate. It's not that bad, and there's some stuff in it that, that, that kind of works, that kind of does work, and, yeah. I wouldn't say it's, like, an under underrated treasure or anything, but, like, there's some stuff there, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> um, blah, 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 blah. Evan J. Sims, what letter grade would you give Big if you can't decide? Did you at least enjoy it? I've not watched Big in ages, so I don't think it's fair for me to, like, uh, grade it or rank it or anything right now. Um, 
Nick, all the weight loss I've been doing, and I've made it to the point where I'm almost no longer going to weigh 200 pounds, about to enter uh, the late 100s. Congrats, Nick. Well done. Very proud of you. It's been it's been really awesome seeing your updates on uh, on chat. So yeah, should be very proud of you, son. Um, Goji Fan 13. I'll try to be careful of the monkey villain based on Ashihara. I think it will be executed the same way Buffalo Bill from Assassin's Lambs are based on a real life killers like Ted Bundy and again. Yeah, yeah. Again, just just be yeah. As Logan said, just just be cautious and keep in mind that there's been controversy before with like people trying to take influence from uh, that cult. Uh, da, 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 da. Miss Proley, do you know J uh, actor Jason Bateman? He was Nick Wilde in Zootopia. Yeah, I know Jason Bateman. I like him. Yeah. Uh, and W. Zonde, what's the worst book to movie adaptation you've ever seen? I don't really read that many books, if I'm honest. So I'm not the best person when it comes to, like, critiquing a film adaptation of a book. I, I'm sorry, I just... I'm, I'm, it's best to ask Dom, no Dom Noble about those kinds of things. Um, bit them out. Which version of The Grinch would you recommend? Jim Carrey or Illumination? Illumination. Not by a landslide, but... <laughs> yeah. um, curse, what's your favourite kind of villain? Ooh, ooh, I, uh, I'm, I'm up for, I'm up for any kind of villain, really. I, I like, I like the serious dark villains, but I also like the silly comedic villains, and I like, I like the kind of blend of both, though. Ones that, ones that are a little sinister, but at the same time can make you laugh. I, so I, I guess that's, I guess I like the middle ground. That's why I love Bowl High Guy. <laughs> um, ba 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 ba. Cameron, Summit movie was fun. I personally prefer Detective Pikachu, but I'm excited for Sonic 2. I need to rewatch Detective Pikachu. I've been, in, I've been meaning to rewatch it again. Uh, da -da. Don, have you travelled outside the UK? If so, where have you been? Um, so, <laughs> so the first place, the first country I ever visited was Australia, and I think I probably brought this up before in one of my old reviews. But yeah, I went to Australia to visit um, my Australian family for Christmas. And while I was there, there was a lot of stuff that happened to me. Uh, so we celebrated Christmas on the beach. Um, I got stung by a jellyfish. And I ended up dropping a bowl, or like a china bowl, on my arm. Is it this arm? And I now have, like, I can't even, you can't even see it probably very well, but like I have a scar, I have a very big scar on here. Because when the china cut my arm, like, the whole flesh was cut, and I could see inside of my arm. I was four, <laughs> and I can. I also remember the doctor like kind of like fiddling with the flesh, <laughs> and my. I remember my action being cool. <laughs> so yeah, that was the. I went to Australia. I've also been to Portugal, Spain. Is that it? Oh, France. I went to France for college. I went to a film festival in France. Um. So yeah, I've mainly been there, but the the country I went to the most, and the one that I have the most nostalgic memories for, is definitely Greece. We went to Greece nearly every year. Uh, da, 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 da. Where where am I? Where am I in chat now? I'm trying to catch up. Uh, Bill Max, speaking of Child's Play, have you seen the remake? Uh, yes. If you want to see my thoughts on anything Child's Play related, I've reviewed all the movies on Puppet Panic on my channel. So go and check those out. Um. Ba, 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 ba. Where are we in chat? Bill him out. Uh, besides De Detective Conan, have you watched other anime TV series or films? I've not watched Detective Conan. Uh, as I, I was saying before, that uh, I've I've never actually watched it. <laughs> I just want to watch it. Um, but the the anime shows that I've seen quite a lot, quite a lot actually. I mainly watch Slice of Life and rom coms. Um, I, and Kyoto, Kyoto Animation so like I love Free uh, I've seen Death Note, Cowboy Bebop Full Metal Alchemist uh, Pokemon Digimon Monster Rancher, Card Captor, Sakura uh, I'm just throwing a bunch of like mainstream stuff, the kind of stuff that I usually watch, you won't know <laughs> I watch very obscure kinds of anime I look for the weird I look for the weird stuff uh, Laidback Camp um what else have I seen? Damn it, my mind's gone. 
but like, yeah, I watch a lot of anime, let's just say. Uh, da, 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 da. Miss Broiler, have you seen the animated film version of Phantom Tollbooth? Uh, yes, I have. It was a long time ago, and there's a review of it on my channel. Don, what's your favorite cartoon saloon film? I can't... Probably Wolfwalkers, but, like, I feel like I'm only saying that because it's the most recent one I've seen. I've not watched the others in a long, 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 long time. Uh, da, da, da. Yosh Van, have you seen the movie Ricky, uh, uh, Ricky O, Story of Ricky? It's one of the craziest movies ever made, and it's bad dub, actually, is very enjoyable and fits with the tone. I've heard of it, and I do want to check it out. <laughs> um... Duh, duh, duh. Cameron, I also watched Gremlins 1 and 2 for the first time in years and still love them. Gizmo's adorable. Yeah, they're very fun films. But amount, I watched a review of Never Ending Story 3 and 2 is not good, but at least uh, stayed in continuity to the first one along like 3. Yep, agreed. Koopadude, I've never understood the malice towards Illumination. I happen to enjoy some of their movies, especially Sing. Uh, yeah, I'm one of those people that's kind of like, eh, about Illumination. Viva hates Illumination. Viva despises Illumination. <laughs> Uh, but for me, I'm kind of like, eh, whatever. There are, there are far there are far more, far worse uh, studios out there. Um, bum, 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 bum. Let's see what Did you ever watch the Puppets Last CGI show, Don't Eat the Neighbors, from the late 90s? I can only find a few clips online. It's frustrating because it was so good. I'm going to keep that in mind. That that sounds interesting. Puppet meets CGI, and it's called Don't Eat the Neighbors, and it's from the late 90s, and it's obscure. I like that. <laughs> um... Cougar guy, which uh, which French film festival? I can't remember. I was I was like eighteen, so that was like over a decade ago. Um, yeah, I remember the, the the strongest memory I had of going to this French film festival was that uh, my class went into one screening, and the film was in a completely different language, and the subtitles was a completely different language, and we just sat there for like five minutes, going, "What do we do?" And then we just left. <laughs> it was really weird. Uh, Miss Perley, a little information about myself. I once lived in a small suburban street and lived below a hill where my elementary school was. Basically, I lived beneath my school. Ooh, interesting. Um, Bill Amount, Black, uh, Jack Black was the only best thing about Never, uh, Never Ending Story 3. He really was, yeah. Uh, Don, oh my goodness, what a trip to the trailer you had. <laughs> trailer, will you go back there? Oh yeah, sure, because I've got a lot of family over there. It's just it's just very expensive and takes a lot of time. Uh, because it took so long for me and my family to go to Australia that we stopped off at Singapore for like uh, a night or two. It was that long, so like, it's bound to be very expensive. <laughs> uh, but I will be going... The, I will be leaving the country for the first time in a long time this summer. I'm going to be going to Ireland. Yes, I'm going to a friend's wedding. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's 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 th th yeah the first time I'm gonna. Oh, I hope I hope I hope my passport is up to date. <laughs> I just realised that. Um, ba 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 ba. Um, hi, Mad Max. Cursed. I still remember every summer where my holidays would alternate between Florida and Portugal. Ooh. Quite a difference. Uh, FNJ Sims, just wondering, in the uh, 2D animated Grinch, why do we buy the Grinch's redemption when we know nothing about him? You don't have to know a character's backstory for a redemption to work. That's the thing that people really need to, like, understand and click in. And a big reason why a lot of, like, um, things like cinema sins and that are, are really annoying is because they, they nitpick so many little tiny things and it's created this culture where everyone is has, has really has expectations where they miss the point entirely and yeah they, I probably not explain this very well but yeah you don't a villain or a character in general you don't have to know their entire history or their tragic backstory to relate to them or for them to be a good character there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of classic beloved characters where you know nothing about them, nothing at all, um, but it's the story within the film that you find interesting. Bill uh, Amount, uh, are you looking forward to the live action Cowboy Bebop series? I <laughs> I don't know what to expect. I I really don't. I I I. 
If there's a trailer, I'll definitely be able to say more, but at this point, I've got no idea. Uh, we all know that live-action anime films have a pretty poor reputation, so I'm not exactly hyped. Uh, Goji Fan, in regards to that drug lord Iguana villain, uh, his name would be Robert Escobar, by the way. Do you think that's a good villain name? Yeah, sounds pretty pretty good. Uh, I've been imagining how how cool a fight between an anthropomorphic fox and Iguana would be. Probably because they are a similar size and have unique abilities to use against one another. Ah, that's a good point. Uh, Mad Max, ever watch the films The Boy in the Striped Pajamas and No Country for All Men? I, I'm tending to avoid serious dark films lately. <laughs> I'm trying to go for films where like it's cheery and fun. So yeah, I've not seen those films. Uh, there are a lot of films like I know I should see them, but I'm like, oh, I just don't think I can handle it. <laughs> um, da, da, da. Computer Guy, I dislike Illumination a lot. The idea of them having their greasy hands on Mario Brothers actually annoys me. Da, 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 da. Weird Guy, personally I think most Illumination movies are enjoyable. Cameron, have you watched, you know, that, that's bull, what's bullshit, series, okay, I'm going to read that better. Have you watched, you know, what's bullshit by uh, James Rolfe? Uh, yes, I have, only watched a couple of episodes though. Bill Mount, have you watched Clone High? I watched the first episode years ago, barely remember it. Uh, Evan J. Sims, to me, we should try to also acknowledge the good things that Illumination does. Uh, go ahead and chat if you want to say anything positive about Illumination does. Go for it. I'm, uh, it's not a topic I'm that passionate about, I'm afraid. Um, blah, blah, blah. Mr. Perley, have you played any of the Sly Cooper games? No, I'm afraid not. Uh, Goji fan, I think the last thing I'll say about say about that snow monkey villain is that because he will be a villain and obviously being the wrong it definitely won't come across as the audience that i'm endorsing i am shiriko kyo yeah yeah I, that's a good way uh weird guy the uh i'm trying to find questions uh billy mount have you seen your name i have i've watched it several times i really like it i really do like it it's got this. It's got this really interesting mystique to it. Um, it's almost spiritual, and it's got a cute romance. Um, good fan. Why do you think villains are usually the best parts of bad movies, especially bad children's movies? Uh, good fan. Thirteen. Now that I mentioned, I realise the villains are usually the highlights of good children's movies as well. I think it's because villains. It's, you can get away with a bit more and you can add a bit more edge and a bit more risk and a bit more personality as well so like there's, there's more on offer with villains there's just there's more there's more to chew on <laughs> let's just say um list of Z, don't eat was a puppet show that you cgi for action scenes and backgrounds and it was about two single dads where one is a wolf and the other is a rabbit and they're kids are friends but they're always fighting it has some amazing voice talents like robert Lindsay, simon callow and tim mckinnery oh i like the cast i'm even more interested now uh billy Mout, have you seen the mulan remake i have and me and viva go into a lot of detail about it in uh our film trumps podcast on disney remakes Guy, I went to the Cannes Film Festival with my film class in high school in 2011. It has a whole, uh, it was a whole afternoon, night and morning of just watching movies, and it was great. We even voted at the end to give the public's choice awards, voted for Where Do We Go Now, uh, won first place, uh, The Artist, uh, second, uh, and La Havre, uh, tied in third place with 17 Girls. Interesting. Billamad, speaking of live action anime films, have you seen Dramble Evolution? I have. I've seen it I've seen it twice, but only because the second time I watched it, it was a live screening at a convention where uh, Gohan's voice actor, Kyle Hebert, was dubbing over it with like really silly things and riffing on it. It was great. It was so fun. <laughs> um, and there is a review of it on my channel as well. Mr. Pearly, sometimes a relatable villain needs a compelling backstory because the characters sort of make the film or the show. Otherwise, there's hardly any depth to them. They don't. They don't need. They don't need one. That I, I definitely would disagree with that. They don't. They don't have to have a backstory. Like it can be interesting to learn their backstory, but it's not essential. Uh, my film artist said something very, very, uh, very interesting the other day that really fits this. Um, 
being sympathetic to a villain is optional, but being empathetic is essential. It's like you don't you, you don't you don't have to you don't have like have to have a tragic backstory, but you do have to care about what the villain is up to in the movie. Um, so Shock Daddy, have you seen Brassed Off? It's about Yorkshire miners in a brass band trying to contend with the imminent closure of their pit. Uh, I know of it. Uh, we had it on VHS, and I never saw it. <laughs> I want to see it though. It does sound like my cup of tea. Um, I do like I do like my uh, classic British films. Uh, Billy Mount, have you seen The King and I, the 1999 version? I have, but it was ages ago when I was a kid. Mad Max, you ever watched a James Bond film? Just one, Dying of a Day, brought this up before in another stream. Uh, Evan J. Sims, they've done a great job with the original Despicable Me, and I think the Lorax is just fine. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think that Despicable Me is a generally very good film. I really do. Uh, Billy Mount, have you seen Earwig and the Witch? Nope. Um... Don, what are your thoughts on preschool animated series today? None, because I don't watch them, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'd, I'd probably only end up watching them if I, uh, when I end up having my own kid, when I become a parent. Um, da, da, da. I think the only time I watch preschool shows is when I'm doing like a retrospective of preschool cartoons from Britain. Da, 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 da. Trying to find where I'm in chat now. Goji fam, what tips would you give to filmmakers that are going to re to make a remake or adaptation of something? Oh, I want to be careful how I phrase this, but I would say kind of, it kind of depends what kind of depends what you want to go what why you want to adapt it or why you want to remake it. What's 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 the purpose? Um, and remakes and adaptations are very different things as well. Because like, you can you, you you get you get more praise by doing a remake that's different to the film, but if you do an adaptation that's a bit too different to the book, it's <laughs> it can be controversial. So they're they're two very different things, and it, again, it just depends entirely on what the filmmaker is wanting to do uh, with the material. Uh, da, 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 da. Weird guy, is there a TV commercial that you remember fondly? Yes. Uh, Forgot his name. Judderman. The Judderman. It's this uh, advert for an alcohol, alcoholic drink, and it's just weird as hell. I love it. I love it to bits. Um, Bill Mount, have you seen the Uga Loves? I have, and there's a puppet panic review of it on my channel. Da, 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 da. Computer Guy, the once the song in Lorax is really catchy, and the movie gave birth to funny memes. That's all, all the good I can say about Illumination. Uh, Bill Mount. When it comes to Pixar shorts, do you prefer the early shorts than the recent ones? No, I like the recent ones. I like those Spark shorts quite a lot. Uh, da, 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 da. Da. Where, where am I in chat? Good friend, Photo I mentioned that the two best ways to describe Riccio is like a live action anime and like an unofficial R rated Mortal Kombat movie. Nice. <laughs> that does sound cool. Bill Mount, have you heard of A Town Called Panic? I have, and I reviewed it on my channel. Very, very funny film. Don, are you excited to see Luca? I don't know if excited is the word. Looking forward to it. I'm not like, oh boy, Luca. I'm kind of like, yeah, Luca. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Trying to find where I'm trying to find where I'm in chat. <laughs> Bill Mike, have you seen the 1981 movie Heavy Metal? Nope, and I've not seen the sequel either. Da, da, da. Lacey Rimsey, if you could have any snack right after the stream, what would you have? Ooh, I, I don't even know what I'm in the mood for. Mmm. A snack after the stream. Ooh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. I really don't know. Uh, I no, nothing's coming to mind. I'm I'm pretty full up if I'm honest. <laughs> um, Mad Max. Uh, I agree. When it comes to villains, is no country men. All you know about Anton is he's a hitman. That that said, yeah, he's one of the best villains ever. Exactly. You don't. You don't need to over-explain 
a villain for them to be good. You don't have to. It's not. It's not essential. You just have to get the audience to care about um, him being a threat and what his plans are. Um, yeah. Duh, 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 duh. Miss Proley, how do you feel about actress Emily Mortimer? She was Holly in Cars 2. Uh, wasn't she also Sophie in Howl's Moving Castle? Bill, have you seen the bottom movie, Guest House Paradiso? I have. I had, on, I had it on record of VHS and I watched it constantly. It's awful. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's awful. I love Bottom. I love Rick. I love Aid. But Guest House Paradiso is a terrible film. Um, Bill, I oh, just skipped a question there, sorry. Cameron, uh, where did you get the red hat from and where did you get the name Jamboriki? Uh, the red hat, um, I can't remember what site I got it from, uh, but it was, I, I, I kind of thought, you know what, I want a hat a bit like, I just wanted something a bit, um, how do I describe what I was after? I was after something uh, both a little stylish but also a little humble. It was hard to find that middle ground. And uh, I also thought of like Jojo, style hats and I was like yeah I like those kind of hats and this is this is what I came down to Jamboree was a nickname I got at my university dorm duh, duh, duh. Uh, Billy Man what about Drop Dead Fred I love Drop Dead Fred even though it has so many flaws I think it's a legitimately good movie go check out the video no small parts on Drop Dead Fred it'll make you appreciate the film way more it is a very good very good film despite the things that don't work about it um Avenger Sims, I know you would refuse to help Channel Awesome, but would you help Cinemassacre? Oh, totally. James seems like a nice guy. Um, I don't. I doubt he would come to me for help, though. <laughs> I doubt he even knows who I am. Uh, Bill Matt, have you seen this one princess? And do you think it still still holds up today than uh, today than, than the sequels? Um, I don't know, cause well, the thing is, I've I've done a bunch of reviews on Swim Princess films on my channel so go check those out but i wouldn't say swan princess holds up but it is probably better than the sequels but that's not saying much because the sequels are not very good um list of rooms not exactly the question but because of the quiz last week i had to listen to beaver fever and it's, it's still in my head <laughs> the quiz for this week is 90s dizzy cartoons by the way um don Bluth, what is your favorite beatles song Ooh, probably i'm the walrus I do like I Am The Walrus. I find that really fun. Um, but I'm also one of those people that really likes Maxwell Silver Hammer as well. <laughs> just because it's so simple. Uh, but the, my favourite thing that, like, any build... Uh, I was going to say my favourite thing any build, Beatles, uh, Beatles member has done is... And then I was like, oh my... I just thought of all those songs. I, like, I love Here Comes the Sun by George Harrison. I love Mr. Bellamy by uh, Paul McCartney. So it's hard to decide. <laughs> Uh, Miss Pearl, just because a backstory may not be essential for him doesn't mean that people don't want it. A lot of people actually care about that sort of thing. Yeah, it's, I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, and I'm not saying that people can't like them. I'm just saying it's not essential. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Like, if you if you like if you want if you like a villain to have a backstory, that's great. But I don't think a villain is bad because they don't have a backstory, um, especially when there's like countless great villains out there that don't have them. Um, Da, 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 da. Fan 13 Fun fact, during the filming of Riccio in a fight scene that involved a fire uh, 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 an actress was standing and her neck started to burn Yikes, so the actor she was doing the scene with got her out of the way and when he asked why she didn't get out of the way, she said you weren't done with your line so I had to wait for the cut Yikes Yikes uh, the only joke in Guest of Paradiso was the candle and the high scene. <laughs> that was a good one, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't really have an answer for your question, Evan, sorry. Uh, Mad Max, what's the darkest film you have ever watched? Barefoot Gen. Barefoot Gen, definitely. It's one of the hardest films I had to get through. It, it's, ma it's mainly dark and overwhelming in how sinister it is because it really happened. Um, Go to fam, where's the video of Jim Carrey singing I'm the Walrus, which is uh, kind of funny, given his future role. Yeah, I've seen it. He does a good cover of it. Uh, I've not seen the a Ava GM movie, no, sorry. Uh, Miss Brola, how do you feel about Carr from The Jungle Book? Uh, he's fun. He's, an, he's a fun little uh, 
side villain in Jungle Book. He's, <laughs> that's what I can say. He serves his purpose. He's a he's a, an interesting little obstacle in the story. Um, go to fan. Do you have any favorite podcasts? The podcast I watch the most and possibly religiously is Trash Taste. I love Trash Taste. Uh, and Trash Taste really helped me get through 2020. And I would also credit Trash Taste for getting me out of a slump I had last year in the summer where I almost quit YouTube. It was Trash Taste that made me go, oh, no, I've got to keep going. Uh, for those who don't know, Trash Taste is run by three YouTubers, uh, C Dog VA, Giguk, and The Anime Man. And it's just them rambling. It is just them rambling for two hours every episode, but it's just great and you feel like you've got company and they're very funny. They're all three of them are very charismatic and the debates they could get into are really entertaining. So yeah, I definitely recommend Trash Taste to people. And they don't just do podcasts, they also do like specials as well. Um, Don, have you seen The Queen's Corgi if you heard about it? I've not seen it, but I know of it. Miss Brown, my favorite kind of villain is a brainwasher. Yeah, they're, they're quite creepy. Uh, Billy Mount, um, how would you compare Bottom with the Three Stooges in terms of com comedy? Oh, they're very different shows. Like, they're both slapstick heavy, but they're going for their own things, really. And if I'm honest, I'm, I'm more acquainted with Bottom than the Three Stooges, so I don't think I'm the right person to compare them. Um... Uh, Evan J. Sims, what is the most annoying comic relief you've ever seen besides Jar Jar Binks? Uh, off the top of my head, I can't think of anyone. <laughs> um, ba -ba -ba. Evan J. Sims, bowler hat guy is a brainwasher. No, he's not. <laughs> he's not that smart to be emo uh, to be emotionally or psychologically manipulative. Uh, Bill and Man, speaking of Jungle Book, have you seen Andy Serkis' Mowgli movie? I have not. I know it's on Netflix, though. Um, Cameron, thoughts on Gravity Falls? I love Gravity Falls. I've watched every episode twice. It's a very creative show with a fantastic sense of world building. And I love the idea that there's a new monster every episode. It's just a great show. And very, 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 very funny. Um, can we go? Wait, question. But do you cook? And if yes, what do you cook? I think I'm hungry. I do cook, but um, I share my kitchen with the staff of the pub that I live on top of. So I'm not usually that experimental because <laughs> I don't want to get in their way. Um, but I do love to cook and sometimes I like to play around, around with flavors and spices and seasoning and different ideas. I like a challenge. It's just finding the time. Um, da, 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 where am I in chat? Um, Mad Max, was there ever a film where you think it should have more dark or light hearted? Um, quite a lot, but off the top of my head, I can't really think of any. Sorry. Um, managed to do it. I saw your top five Sony characters, and what to say, I think Prowl is awesome. He is so scary, though I heard of him in the original comics that the twist of his villainy was kind of spoiled for me, but the execution was brilliant. Uh, though his willingness to kill a kid may be dropped by sympathy for him. Plus, I wanted to see Miles fight him in his uh, new black and red costume. He's apparently even worse in the comics. He's apparently really, really bad in the comics. Tom Bluth, can you draw? Um, I don't know. <laughs> my artist friends say that I can draw, and they keep telling me that I should draw more. But my art teachers kept saying I was crap and kept telling me to improve. Um, I love to draw, and I have drawn sometimes. See if I can get... I did a picture of Bullhack Guy recently, and I see if I can find it, and I'll put it up on stream. I don't even know if it's going to, like, come out in decent resolution. Um, there we go. So this was a Bowler Hat Guy uh, fan art I did the other day. Uh, I, was, I was just relaxing, and I was just chilling, and I was like, hey, you know what, I'll just go and Photoshop and <laughs> just draw ball that guy. <laughs> um, da, 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 da. Where am I in chat? Listen, I made the mistake of re-watching Spider-Verse and realized something about it particularly ruined it for me. I won't say what, I'll leave your mind safe. I did still enjoy it, though. Hmm, Interesting. Uh, Cameron, did you ever watch Smosh? I remember enjoying their videos in 2000, till 2015. 
I watched the early videos when they were like a big thing, but that's it really. Uh, Ghostfriend13, I may have said this in a previous stream, but do you think it was weird that Mick in Mickey Mouse's House of Villains special that they used Car and the Hyenas instead of Shere Khan and Scar re respectively? Actually, now that I think of it, they are the type of guys that would have been, nah, I'm above that, and uh, not get involved with the takeover along with Frollo. Hmm, true, yeah. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Go to 13. What is the best way to do a twist villain? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, that's a question that's quite, it's quite a broad thing, and I'd really have to think about it, I'm afraid. Um, Kabu Guy. Uh, oh, you talked to someone else. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, people like the drawing. That's good. Uh, Marriage Dog, since you've seen slashes like Chucky and Candyman, do you think you're more prepared for Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees? I've seen the original Nightmare on Elm, Elm Street, and I really enjoyed that, but I've not seen Friday the 13th. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, 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 I tr Lister MZ, that's a nice pick. Thank you. I tried to draw Tom Cruise the other day, but he ended up looking like Jimmy Carr. That's kind of funny, actually. Uh, computer guy, do you use a mouse to draw, or do you use one of those magic touchy thingies? Uh, I use my mouse. Um, I, Jason's, I mean, he can control mice with robotic hands. Yeah, he can, but technically that's that's not his... That's not his, he's not, I wouldn't say he's a brainwashing... That's not his skill. He just knows how to take advantage of the technology he has. Um, da, da, da. Maestro, what do you think of the Batman vs Superman fight and Batman vs Superman? Not the movie, just the, the titular fight itself. The only fun part of the film. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Um, but, but, Mr. Burley, do you know George Takei? Yes, I do. He's got a great voice. Cameron Blythe, do you own any Funko Pop figures? I had a Steven Universe Pop, uh, pop uh, figure, but I, I, I don't know where it is. <laughs> Don, what are your thoughts on Frank and Weenie? There is a review of it on my channel where I go into way more detail. Uh, I have very mixed feelings about Frank and Weenie. Uh, I better head off now, folks. I've got a lot of work to do. A lot of work. A lot of stuff. Uh, hope you enjoyed the stream. That's the main thing. I really do hope you enjoyed the stream. I uh, hope you were entertained in some way. Um, sorry if I wasn't able to give like very detailed answers tonight but i'm very tired and i'm also very hot it's very hot in england right now very hot for england standards that is <laughs> um so yeah i hope you all have a good morning good evening good afternoon good night whatever time it is for you he <laughs> he